Right behind you. I'll meet you at the gateway presently, friend. Sir? Mind if I take a little peek at you? I promise I'll be brief. My goodness, what a strapping physique. Capable of an astounding variety of acts of violence, I imagine. What is happening? Well, this must be the squirrel that tends the world tree. That delectable aroma. Could it be? Pardon the intrusion. Mm. Ah, yes. Amber resin. Delightfully nutty with a hint of squidding. No. Not one for gastronomic expiration, I see. Wait. If you're Radit Hosker, why are you so different when we summon you for help? It's a long story. <laughs> but you are correct. I am indeed Radit Hosker. The one you know as Ratatosker is merely one of my spectral aspects. And a particularly nasty one at that. I consider him so far removed from myself that he's practically a different person. Speaking of... Bitter, would you like to come out and see your friends? Back off! I'm busy! I suppose that was to be expected. Anyway... <clears throat> now that I've polished off all this resin for you, would you like the seed back? It is the seed. Indeed. A seed of Yggdrasil, to be precise. <clears throat> Since my dwarven tenants performed their little reconfiguration, you'll need seeds like these to open up new destinations on my tree. <laughs> Your tree, huh? Yes, my tree. Here, let me show you. So that's why good Master Brock needed an Alpine seed. Clearly, you have important matters afoot. That seed you found unlocks Niflheim, of all places, a realm as ancient as it is vaguely sticky. Yet, it's probably best for Tyr to wait for us here. The soldiers we fought in Svartalfheim, those were Enriar? Enriar were just spirits in Valhalla until Ragnar comes. They were no spirits. Indeed, brother. Odin appears to have found a loophole. Activated his forces early as a standing army. Perhaps something he could only do without any honest Valkyries around to stand in his way. Creeping me out, all these poor bastards with their souls cut up. Wait, feels like there was something else. <gasps> Brock, what do you think about fate? I don't. Either your life's all written down somewhere, or it ain't. Still feels like you're fine there. There's something over here. Ah, a memory of war. 
You could use this as a training arena if you like. You'll just be fighting the recollections of enemies. They won't be able to harm you. Wait, are those Odin's ravens? The ones we've been destroying all this time? So it would seem. Free are we, free of the Father. Our half-wise now belong to no other. What do you think that means? I don't know, but there's definitely something more going on here. Us, though. One hopes. I suppose we should continue to destroy any of Odin's ravens when we find them. You got some slack from the homeland, huh? Hand it over. I'll fix you up some. I think it means seeing more raiders come back as Hellwalkers lately. I thought freeing the Valkyrie Queen was supposed to restore balance to the realms. And keep that from happening. That's a good question, lad. And a troubling one. If Hell's filled up again, it suggests that something's been hindering Sigrun's efforts. Or perhaps something even more urgent is keeping her distracted and unable to visit. Even occasionally. Yeah. Sorry, Mimir. There you are. I knew you hadn't forgotten me. Master Kratos, I would speak with you. Here. Speak. If you are ever in need of my services and I am not present, I have installed these handy chimes for you to notify me. Simply throw your axe and strike the chimes and I will attend to your needs. Would you care to take a practice throw? A magnificent throw, Master Kratos. Truly a seasoned pro. Very well. You know how to reach me now. 
But putting all that aside for the moment, is there anything else? I have a question. Splendid! I delight in offering my tutelage to the Inquisitive. Over the ledge, by the gateway over there. I noticed these dragons. Dragons? Oh no, young master Atreus. Those are lean worms, the brood of Neithhoad. Neithhoad? That's the mother? Correct! She's also a vital piece of the Idrisilian circle of life, as it were. I tend the branches up here, while Neetho chews the roots from below to prevent overgrowth. A delicate balance. So they're friendly? Well, they're not nearly so affable as myself, but there's no reason to expect hostility so long as they're left in peace. Neetho is a stern matriarch, as protective of her offspring as she is determined to teach them proper discipline. That sounds... Familiar. Hmm. Well, I mustn't keep you further from your goings-on. We're ready to go to Alfheim when you are, Father. Unless you wanted to finish something in Svartalfheim first. Perhaps as we travel, you can tell me the tale of your prior visit to the Land of the Elves. Sure I can. Alfheim was the first time we ever realm traveled using your temple. Freya tried coming with us, but Odin cast a spell on her. But she can't leave Midgard. That's terrible. So then we fought our way through an army of Dark Elves to get to the light. You interfered in the Elf War. Not by choice. We sought to fill our Bifrost, and they attacked us. And the Dark Elves were covering it with their sticky hive stuff. When we freed it, the Light Elves came back. We seemed better in Alfheim. <laughs> Did they now? Alfheim. It's been so long. Not sure where the temple is from here. That's where we'll find Groa Shrine. Yeah. Broken history. Aye, not exactly an easy fix for that. I see the elves continue their war. Yeah. Look for things being better in Alpha. <laughs> Yikes. Thimble Winter hit Alpha hard. No. Storms have plagued Alfheim's deserts long before Thimble Winter. Living desert. Huh. It was once full of life, you know. And music. The song of Sham. Gone now. Another victim. <laughs> Hold on. I hear something out there. Something big. It's in pain. What do you hear? It feels like some kind of animal. 
How could anything live in a storm like that? Plenty of caves under the desert. Not exactly a paragon of comfort, but the Dark Elves get on best they can. Perhaps we can reach that brazier from above. Good eye. By frost eyes. Is everything okay? Hi, old friend. Just looting on your chest. We'll be right along. My dad likes Lou. Ah. Very well. <laughs> Freyr never bothered returning to Alfheim, did he, Mimir? I no. I assumed the fate of his own realm took precedence. <laughs> Freya's brother? Yes. Cut from a different form than that one. There's a barricade up ahead. What are those shiny rocks? Twilight stone. A rare material that can take millennia to form. Majestic, isn't it? Occasionally, the light of Alfheim will bind to a rock and crystallize, growing like moss on a fallen tree. Truly a wonder of the Nine Realms. There's a gap in the fence over there. Freya's brother. How was he involved? Long ago, Freyr of the Vanir traveled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. Behind! <laughs> <laughs> There's a gap in the fence over there. What became of Kavasir? Ripped apart by his audience. Well, one member of his audience. Well, Thor. <laughs>
There's a gap in the fence over there. Did you mention how that piece fell apart as soon as he left? I was getting to it. There's a gap in the fence over there. That's enough, please. You don't need to do this. We don't want to hurt you. We do not have a choice. Whoa, is that a bomb? We're the ones who took your life. There's a gap in the fence of us. Why are you fighting us? We helped you last time. Atreus, focus. I hate Alpha. There's a gap in the fence over there. Most unfortunate. They attacked us. More will follow once we're inside. Is there truly no other way? Not like they're giving us much of a choice. So your father said. I'm just naive, I suppose. No. Just an optimist, old friend. <sighs> There's a gap in the fence over there. to Freya, made by the elves. He must have left it here when he raced back to Vanaheim. What is this? A charm to ward off nightmares. In this case, Freya's. Well, knowing the elves, there are probably more tributes to find. There's a gap in the fence over there. So tall. We came in. There's a gap in the fence over there. I'll go first. Atreus, let me know when I've reached halfway. So, uh, what's happening right now? This seal is meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freya was here. Light and dark, working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good, I think. Father, now you go. Unfortunately for Alfheim, Freyr couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim and left this realm to its fate. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. Hmm. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but the realm isn't. Not anymore. Father, try pulling it the other way. Yeah, yeah, and here, you keep pushing forward. Fine work, Atreus. Shall we?
What's a Dark Elf statue doing in the Light Temple? That's just how they looked before the Division. The Division? Yes. The Elves weren't always split between light and dark, you know. This statue depicts the Elves before the war, before they discovered the power of the light. <laughs> Solid light. Yes, some things don't change. Stone briefly imparts a bit of light to your axe. That's useful. What's that sound? No sense in spoiling the surprise. Oh, it's the light. Oh. 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 I've never seen the Lake of Souls so volatile. Aye. Fimble winter, you reckon? Of course. Making the light unstable. So the base of this light well... That's the Lake of Souls. Yes. After the creation of the Nine Realms, fallen souls began to gather down in those waters. When the Elves discovered its potential, they built this temple to harness that energy. A smashing success, to say the least. Many of them became addicted to their newfound power, and thus, the Light Elves were born. Done. Though I imagine our Light Elf friends will be less than pleased. Speaking of Light Elves, let me try talking to them again. They may just to let these two do their things. <laughs> came across on light bridges, but now the bridges are gone. I have an idea to get us across. <laughs> Lucky for us, swearing off violence doesn't mean he can't disfigure some architecture. This way, the shrine awaits. <laughs>
temple looks so different than I remember. It was all broken and covered in hive stuff last time we were here. These elves use Alfheim's light to enhance the temple, and themselves by the look of it. They definitely look more dangerous than last time. Oh, those were just the foot soldiers. They'll get more dangerous the further up we go. Great. The shrine is this way, Kratos. Yeah. Oh, I'd like to be See. By all means. Behind you, brother! Anything interesting this way? Shall we continue? So if these elves use the light to build doors and make themselves stronger, what do the Dark Elves want with it? To return it back to its source. To them, the natural resources of Alfheim are sacred, none more so than the light itself. Aye, the Light Elf's success came at a terrible price. Alfheim's once lively desert withered into a storm-ridden wasteland soon after the creation of this temple. more Twilight Stone up there. Mumia, do you understand these poems? Oh, there's always meaning if you look hard enough, brother. It's all in what you bring to it. a better angle on that twilight More light stone. elves ahead. I'll handle this. Uh, maybe that's not a great idea. Oh there, friends. Salutations. We mean you no harm. Here. Get back. At least I tried. I 
get it now. Why do they keep fighting? Dark elves want the souls and the light left alone. The light elves want to keep using them. That's the long and short of it. Aye. So then, which side is right? Rarely is it so simple. And not our place to say. This is an elven conflict. I said as much the last time we were in Alfheim. Right. Sure made a lot of these light doors. Mm. Fortifications. Aye. None too eager to let the Dark Elves run the roost again. I don't think that's the way up to the shrine. We know. There's a chest over here. Oh, I see it now. Forgive my impatience. Oh, thank you. a way to get your ass behind this crate, right? white marble wall behind that grate. Perhaps your axe can reach it. Why not simply hold it in place? Excellent. 
Let's continue our ascent, yes? You're building quite the collection of poetry, brother. Why so surprised? My people are known for their culture. Not surprise. Esteem. I'll leave you to it. I'll meet you on the other side. Whoa! Tyr can really jump. Getting the hang of it. I've never seen the light elves with so much control over the temple. Yes, that's on us. They must have anointed a new temple guardian. Spartal Yoffer's counterpart. The dark elf king. Yes, he's in the light now, too. Hmm. <laughs> 
Timing must be precise. This mystic doesn't see us. There's twilight stone on the ground. I wonder if we could use twilight stone against them. Here they come. Do what you must. Light orb! In cover! Look at this statue, these crystals. I've noticed them on the elves as well. I wonder, if this statue were to fall over the chasm... make light bridges now the light elves wear them smart almost there allow me <gasps> i dare say he's beginning to enjoy the vandalism pretty soon he'll be laying waste to pottery shall we continue well at least we're getting closer look up see feels even taller on the inside I can't believe all this was down here. Ah, oh, the Nornir. Why must they insist on these frustrating trials? You would know better than us, Baba. I can't remember the last time I visited the Norns. Nor do I wish to try.
over there. They don't make it easy, do they? Tricky. Well done. And here we go. Again. Back to Nephilim. Another light door. There's some twilight stone on that statue shield. That angle isn't gonna work. Do you think there's any way to stop the elves from fighting each other? Had Freyr not abandoned the realm, a lasting peace may have formed. But now... Can we really place all the blame on Freyr? 
This war started long before his arrival. But he had the power to heal this land and end the war, did he not? He made his choice. The wrong one. For Alfine, perhaps. But not necessarily for him. Well, I suppose we're all entitled to watch <laughs> on the wing. That looks right. Yeah. Last time we were here, I killed the Dark Elf King. That's unfortunate. I'd wonder if we came as one. We had to defend ourselves. When he died, he told us we helped the wrong side. I see. still hear something wounded out there, Trey. I think so. It could just be the storm. Perhaps we can investigate once we've uncovered a mysterious seer's hidden prophecy. chamber will bring us to the top once we find our way past yet another light door. Some sounds done up there. It pairs quite nicely with the Twilight Stone. They're not for interiors, these light elves. Go on. Facing the wrong way. Go! Hmm. Maybe if we allow me to speed this up. 
The angle should work, Kratos. Well done. At your service. Alpine. How stunning. Is indeed thorough. Limitless. Limitless what? Power? Growth? Ambition? A bit vague, innit? <laughs> hear mother inside last time but i can't anymore her soul is one with the light now united by forces older than odin himself she is at peace atreus i hope so when father went inside the light he said you went he... inside the light of alfheim yes and yet here you stand of sound mind and decidedly not incinerated you must tell me kratos what did you see that memory is for me alone I felt only moments pass. Didn't feel like moments to me. I was trapped. Atreus overcame great odds to save me. One could but only imagine. Well then, Groa's triptych awaits. So, did you ever meet Groa? Many times. But she was plagued by constant visions, so conversation was difficult, to say the least. Father, she's... she's gone. Yes. Keep moving. We're almost there. Huh. They've changed some stuff. Last time, there was all this hive stuff up here. So many dark elk. I... All this time, I thought... 
a dark elf came. I thought all the dark elves were. Tear? Yes. Did we help the wrong side? Hmm. Are you certain that's the right question? I. What's the right question? Is there a right side? Exactly. What do you think, Atreus? Is there a right side in this war? I. I don't know. Then perhaps you shouldn't pick one. There it is. Ah, you all made it. Welcome. Do you believe in fate, Sindri? Oh, of course not. You think I'd wash my hands this much if I thought that what I do doesn't ultimately matter? There's only one thing with any say over how we live our lives, and that's us. Giants always did enjoy hiding their secrets in plain sight. Wait until you see this. Ah, yes. Here we have Groa's search for her missing husband. She was relentless in her attempt to find him. Meditated for weeks on end. Unfortunately, she found... something else. A vision of Ragnarok. Word of Groa's vision reached Odin. He sought her out. Demanded a private retelling. Didn't like what he heard, apparently. Ironwood? That's the... I don't know what that is. The mythical sanctuary for giants. Curious. So it's in Jotunheim? I know some giants thought so, but Ironwood isn't anywhere, lad. It's a concept, a metaphorical paradise. It's not real. Presumably, Groa requested her ashes be returned to Jotunheim, while her soul found peace in the light. Difficult to imagine Odin respecting those wishes. Hmm. The champion? I think it's supposed to be... Me. You assume too much. Aye. Best not to read into these abstractions so literally. Prophecies are slippery by nature. Although, some are more obvious than others. Ragnarok. Aye. The end of everything. So this is it. There's nothing we can do to stop it. There must be a way. Why else is this hidden? Look, it's here. This is what we saw. It's you. Fighting in Ragnarok. No. I don't... Forget it. What's this then? That's new. Asgard is destroyed? But the other realms thrive? She lied. Roa lied. 
Of course she did. <laughs> Odin's working off a false prophecy. <laughs> so then, we can win Ragnarok. We can beat Odin. We are not present in any of this. But that was Tyr leading the charge against Asgard. Plus, Hell's army was there. And the elves. Champion. Okay. Whoever that is, doesn't matter. But for the first time, we know something Odin doesn't. We just saw we can win. Tyr? I won't allow prophecy to define my choices. But, but we just saw no, you. No, Atreus. This is wrong. Come. There is much to discuss. It is time. We can't stop Ragnarok, but we can win it. If Asgard is destroyed, Odin will not be the only casualty. There must be another way. Perhaps we should focus on our egress first. Agreed. <laughs>
need to keep moving. It really worked up. I think he's okay? Focus, Atreus. This way.
It is over. It is far from over. I... It's gonna be okay, Tyr. You've seen what is to come. I told you I would not follow you to war, and yet here I am, dragging an innocent, innocent? elf... ...and marching towards the destruction of Asgard. What choice do we have? There is always a choice! I will not lead you to war. I won't. I'm not that god anymore. I don't want to fight. But with you three, there is no avoiding it. Your path leads to countless deaths, unimaginable pain and suffering. Over here! Your chase! Uh, 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 
Sir. Hey, dear. Thanks. And I'm sorry about before. I, I. No. I am sorry. I should never have come. We shouldn't linger. I just want to do the right thing. And according to prophecy... Speak no more of prophecy. War will not give you the purpose you seek, Atreus. Only slaughter. So what are we supposed to do? Roll over? Do nothing? Enough. We will discuss our next move when we are out of danger. Assault. How fortuitous! Can't they just leave us alone? Father, there's 
way. Up here. Can we leave now, please? Almost there. This way. Tear. Open the gateway, please. Yourself the legacy this one has left for the barons. I've had far more than I can stomach. We do not need to rush. We should see this desert for ourselves. Look, I know we can't trust prophecy, but I'm not sure we should just ignore what we saw either. We are not ignoring it. We will discuss it back home. For now, I wish to search for the wounded animal you heard earlier. You? Really? Yes. Well, OK. 
okay then. Good. Yeah. Lead the way. <laughs> 